many surgeons are now uh, turning to YouTube videos uh, to look at the way different surgeons perform technical procedures. This is of particular value to refresh a memory about procedures not done uh, regularly. Now, many trainees also uh, use YouTube as a source. Uh, in the uh, laparoscopic world, they've published standards really for creating videos in terms of clarity and sound quality. Uh, we've often been asked uh, how we make such high quality videos, and so we thought we would share some of our expertise. In the first half of this video, we're going to show you the basic setup, how you can record anywhere, really using a basic endoscopy tar. In the second half, we're going to show how to uh, build this into an integrated uh, operating room. So here is the basic setup, and a basic setup, there are components which you need to record a procedure are a video endoscopy tower that includes a monitor, a recording device, a camera unit, uh, and light source. Uh, in addition to this, the sterile components that we can use, you can either use an overhead light, we'll show that later. What we've found is to using a flexible octopus arm, uh, which we attach to the table. We then use that octopus uh, after clamping it, it has to be tight. Uh, we place this, it depends upon what the procedure is going to be. And on that, we mount a 30 degree 10 millimeter endoscope. These can either be the shortened version or the long version. This actually provides uh, several advantages. First of all, it illuminates the field. Secondly, unlike an overhead light, the physician does not get her he the head inside in the way of the, the um, uh, camera and this also allows you to offset it because of the 30 degree nature here you can see we're turning on the and plugging in the camera um, and in addition to that we then attach the light source the light cable again this is just standard laparoscopic setup so this is sometimes these are integrated into the room sometimes it's just an endoscopy tower can be brought in and here we're, we're turning up the light First thing you want to do is, is focus and white balance. Um, again, exactly the same as a laparoscopic setup. <laughs> and so here we're white balancing, uh, adjusting the field of view, uh, and then focusing. And there is also an autofocus component which can actually be utilized. <clears throat> Uh, they also need a recording device, and this is, here's the recording device. Um, in this case, uh, we have a Storch integrated room. We can either take pictures, as we just saw, or we have two channels which we can record. And one of those channels can be split into four different screens. So here's an integrated hybrid operating room, which in the center of the field is an overhead camera. Um, but there are multiple inputs which can be utilized in these sophisticated integrated rooms. We can record ultrasound, we can record the physiologics, and we can record the endovascular procedures. This is an example of a high uh, definition uh, overhead. Um, all of these basically are routed through an AV integration uh, where you choose the left side of the screen, the source, and then we can actually route that to either the, the screens or in this proprietary uh, format, it's called AIDA, which are the two recording channels. Here we can see uh, the overhead uh, camera is being brought with a sterile cover, so that can be used uh, in the field. You go through exactly the same process as the laparoscope. You white balance it. Uh, here you can see a white balance using a lap pad. You can either use autofocus or you can use a manual focus. Autofocus gives you remarkably high clarity uh, videos. You can orient it. it, can all be done on a touch panel, which is in the room. This can even be prepped into the field or if you've got somebody around who can utilize it. And again, you can either take a still picture or you can record video. Uh, that video at the end of the case, you stop the recording. And it, uh, in our case, it pushes it up to an online server uh, that we can then utilize uh, to, uh, we can download from either the hard drive that's in the room or we can potentially upload it to a, a cloud. And then this can be down, uh, looked at and downloaded remotely. Here we're actually downloading uh, into a hard drive. We then take that hard drive. Um, here you can see it's actually, you can create this uh, cloud uh, server, which you can store it and download from. And this is just making and recording uh, the uh, different files. 
Once you download it, um, you can edit it in a variety of different ways. I tend to use this in Keynote and just narrate on using a uh, portable camera on top of this, or you have a little more sophisticated using Final Cut Pro. We're lucky in that we have people who will help do this for us. Um, following this, of course, we, we can store those videos and we push those videos up. We store it on YouTube um, and that we have a playlist and that's where our video space are held. Thank you very much for the opportunity to present this. Hope you enjoy it.